In this video, I'll take you through some of the design features of RockSim so that you can kind of get a lay of the land so that when you're ready to start designing, you'll know exactly what to do. Designing a rocket is a process of going through these tabs here along the top of the screen. The first tab is the rocket design attributes where we're giving the rocket a name and selecting the stability method. Um, I always recommend that you use the Roxham stability method. It's the most accurate of all the, the methods. Um, the number of stages, uh, this is a single stage rocket, but I'll set it to three stages just so that you can see what that means. And the static margin reference, um, I always recommend the maximum frontal diameter. Um, so the number of stages we set to three, and uh, when we go to the next tab over, Rocket Design Components, you'll see three stages. The sustainer, which is always the top stage, the booster, and uh, the booster two. And so this is the bottom most stage, the middle stage, and the top stage. Um, as you can see, there are parts that are associated with each stage. So if you had a booster stage number two and you had parts like body tubes and fins, they would be attached to this stage. So if I uh, selected a body tube and it would attach it to this one right here and it would put it back here on the bottom of this stage. Um, I don't need the stages right now, so let's go ahead and set it back to a single stage rocket. And you can see that uh, disappeared those uh, the second and third stage. So what I wanted to show you is that you will be attaching parts to the different stages. Um, so those are the master parts and then below that are the parts that are attached to that. So this nose cone is attached to the sustainer and this body tube is attached to the nose cone. See so if I uh, collapse that so we have nose cone body tube and the nose cone, you can also attach parts to it, such as a mass object, which is M. M stands for mass object, and that's this right here, and it tells us it's a clay nose weight. Um, when we go to edit parts, um, we can uh, highlight them in the parts tree and click on edit, or we can just highlight it and double click and that will bring up the editor for that part. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that we can maximize our screen room here. In the editor windows, uh, we don't have a separate view at this current time, uh, but if you'll move your cursor up and down here below the mass, you'll see that you'll get an up or down arrow. And then what you do is you click and you can drag upwards and make that view window bigger down here. You'll notice that um, on this body tube, uh, we have these slider bars where we can change the dimensions just by ch moving the slider bar. So I can change the length of the tube just by changing the length, uh, grabbing that slider bar. See how that worked? That's what makes Roxem so easy to use, uh, is the use of these slider bars. And as you change things, um, the center of gravity and the center of pressure will also change to match. So as you notice, as we're moving that body tube, none of the other parts are moving with it. And I'll show you how we can change that. So let's just cancel out of this. And it's going to ask us to save changes, and we'll say no. And we're back to our default um, rocket. Uh, let's go and edit the fins. So again, I'm just going to go to the fin, click Edit, and it brings up our fin. And each, each part has its own design window. So here is our fin, and everything else is grayed out. So there's our fin, and again we have slider bars that we can move everything around. And on the fins, when you move the location, you can really see uh, the center of pressure move with it. Notice right now, this is a critical number here, is the static margin. It's the distance between the center of gravity and the center of pressure divided by that reference area. Remember we said the reference area is the maximum diameter. And this is our maximum diameter here. So uh, we want the center of gravity always ahead of the center of pressure for the rocket to be stable. Um, so right now it, it is stable. And watch as we get closer to zero, when the static margin is closer to zero, now all of a sudden we have this word here that says marginal stability. Let me make this a little bit bigger so that's out of the way. So now it's marginally stable, 
because it's under 1. When that becomes a negative number, now we are unstable. So always design stable rockets where the margin of stability is, is greater than 0, preferably greater than 1. Being overstable is not bad. Um, remember when uh, we changed the, uh, the length of this tube and the fins didn't move with it? Well, we can uh, change that by changing the reference location of these fins. Right now, these fins is referenced 5.5 inches from the front of the part. Remember, these fins are attached to the tube. So the fins are attached to the tube, so the front of this part is our reference location. Now if I change, if I do this drop down menu and change it to the base of the owning part, now it's zero inches, but it's zero inches from here. So if the tube changes, those fins should slide with it. And we'll just go ahead and check that by going to the body tube. And now we'll change the length of the tube, and look at that, the fins are moving with it. And we would probably have to do that for every part inside the rocket here. So if we wanted to come back later and change the length of the tube, all those parts would follow it. And I'm just going to cancel out of that. Okay, in the next video we'll start designing rockets. Uh, we'll start, I'll show you how to add parts and the orientation of those parts. And here's all the parts that we'll start looking at.